All right, Marty, I got a question. Do you love your job? And I mean really love it. Love it enough to want to do it for maybe 84,000 hours. You ever heard a phrase that way? When you do, you really start thinking about it. And one man who did has put together what I think is a fascinating book, Our Stories Collectively from Around This Country. That's author Andrew Harrison, who's here now. How are you? I'm great, Evan. Thank you for having me. I love my job, but I don't know if 84,000 hours represent what? Uh, it represents 42 years <laughs> times 40 hours a week times 50 weeks per year gives you 84,000 hours at work. And, and that's, that's even a min I, mean, I don't say it's a minimum, but some of us may oh, be yeah. well past 100,000 hours oh, a yeah. You've met those people. I have. So you worked in Charlotte. You're from around here. Yep, I'm from Rochester, from Greece. But you had a very good job in Charlotte. What were you doing? I did. I, I basically had my dream job. I was in sales. I made a lot of money. And I wasn't working 40 hours a week to make that money. So you were doing what a lot of people think they would love to do, but every morning you, you woke up and how did you feel about it? Uh, I was just kind of going through the motions. I wasn't in inspired, excited, and over time I decided I had to be passionate about my job. And when I did that 84,000 hours equation, that's really when I said, all right, if I'm going to spend this much time in my life right. doing something, right. I better be excited about it. I think it's a brilliant way to think about it. It really shakes you and, and makes you think about more than just 40 hours a week. You, you start adding that up. So you traveled across the country. I did. And, and you met people and you are telling the stories here. Tell us about what the book really is about and some of the people you met. Sure. Uh, really, the book is to share these stories of people who love their work, who are passionate about their job, and to really learn from their experiences and their stories. Because for me, I didn't know what I wanted to do, and it turns out it's to meet these type of people and share their stories and hopefully give people some education, some inspiration, because not everybody can go travel the country. The book's called Love Your 84,000 Hours at Work, Stories on the Road from People with Purpose and Passion. I have to imagine that you are making less money now than you were in Charlotte. That's true. But you're... But you must be happier then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've learned in my research, and it's not always about money. I mean, if you make a lot of money and you don't like your job, well, that's, that's off. Well, let's get specific, because I love some of these individual stories. It's really, really cool stuff. I mean, it, it's people from all across the work spectrum. Um, and I, I picked out a few of my favorites, but why don't you tell me a few of yours? Uh, let's see. One of my favorites was Mr. G. He's a financial planner who is 87 years old, and he still works every day. By choice. By choice. Yeah, he, he years old. yeah, I've been to his house in Louisiana, and it's a 5,000 square foot house. He doesn't have to work. He does it because <laughs> he wants to. And that's really what it's about. If you love your work, you're not going to want to quit. You're not going to want to retire. You also met uh, a, a NASA astronaut who was once told she wasn't even tall enough to be a stewardess. Right. And now is an astronaut? That's correct. How did you find this person? Uh, actually, somebody at NASA, I got connected to people in all sorts of ways, <laughs> but uh, somebody said, I know somebody you need to talk to at NASA, and they set it up, and yeah, Dr. Cleave was great. So yeah, she was told, you're too short, and then 10 years later, she became an astronaut. So many of us say, you know what I'd love to do? I'd love to write about sports. And you found somebody who was a Harvard-educated Harvard lawyer and then turned into a sports columnist. Yes, right? Jeff, Jeff Calkins in Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, he was a guy who had a great job, very well-educated, obviously, with Harvard, and said, this is not what I want to do, and he didn't understand why. Writing was always a passion. He went for it, and he took a job making, I think, $250 a week writing in Anniston, <laughs> Alabama, and then ended up becoming the sports columnist for the Memphis Commercial Appeal. Now, what I imagine we're going to find in the book is that each story sort of tells maybe part of a theme, but we're going to learn a lot from these individual stories. So I don't think we're giving too much away when we ask you if there is an underlying theme or a message that you think people will take from this, from hearing these individual stories. Yeah, there, the book is set up in 11 lessons, but really the overarching thing, uh, people who enjoy their work, they feel like they're making a difference in some shape or form. And it's not necessarily like curing cancer making a difference. It's really just taking advantage of who you are and then really when you do that and you enjoy what you're doing you have a positive ripple effect and you make a difference that way it's interesting you say that my, my wife and i had dinner recently with friends and and they're doing work that we call world saving work i mean uh, a, a film uh, a filmographer who's been to darfur um, a, a, someone who's done the kind of environmental work that's seriously making it an impact and it makes you say am i doing enough but i think the point that you're making here is we're, we can all do wonderful things with our own gifts and our own abilities, right? No doubt. If you love your work, you take advantage of the gifts that you've been given, you're going to feel like you're making a difference, and you will, because you will make a difference in the people that you come into contact with. I want to show you the cover again right here. Love Your 84,000 Hours is the name of the book uh, at work. 
It is a great concept, and um, it really has made me think. I mean, I do love this job very much, but it, it'll make all of us think. Where do we find it? Uh, Amazon.com, and then my website's 84,000hours.com, and IamOnTheRoad.com. Where are you going next? Uh, I'm going to Phoenix. I'll be in Phoenix in, uh, <laughs> next week. Keep writing. Keep telling these stories. And Thank you for having me. Inspiring us. Thank you very much, Andy.